The winner of the August 9th primary will take on Governor Tony Evers in the fall. Tonight, Governor Evers tells me in an exclusive interview he's considering a temporary state gas tax holiday and he's worried about voter turnout after the Wisconsin Supreme Court's decision on drop boxes. Gas prices have come off their record highs in Wisconsin, but remain about a dollar higher from a year ago. Republican lawmakers rejected Governor Evers' idea of raising the state gas tax about eight cents per gallon in exchange for getting rid of the minimum markup law on gas. Evers telling me he's now open to exploring a temporary state gas tax holiday, which is 31 cents a gallon, and using the budget surplus to backfill the lost revenue. I'm willing to consider different things around uh, gas tax in the state of Wisconsin, whether it's uh, the issues of maybe a temporary holiday, but it would have to be temporary. We'd have to use uh, the surplus that we have because we can't take money away from building and fixing our roads. Evers believes the state is in a better position to rebound from the pandemic because of his efforts to deploy federal relief tax dollars to small businesses across the state. Almost a billion dollars in small businesses, tourism industry, farmers, bars and restaurants. And as a result of that investment, we are number one in the country as far as our spending money on businesses as it relates to the percentage of, of federal funds that we received. Evers says the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade is a setback for the state that has a pre-Civil War law that prevents abortion in almost all cases except if a mother's life is at risk. There's little now he can do to change the state law. The Planned Parenthood in Illinois now have you have over the last few weeks 10 times the number of Wisconsin women that they usually see. So let me ask you about that. Is there any role that your administration is playing in that? Is there anything the state is doing to try to help? We sure have. I mean, we've worked with Planned Parenthood in Wisconsin and Illinois and Minnesota to make sure that those services are available. We haven't used any of our money, but we're just, you know, we're encouraging that to happen. This year, Governor Evers set a record with his veto pen, pushing back on 98 bills, including those that he says would limit absentee voting. He also worries the recent state Supreme Court's decision that drop boxes can no longer be used because they're not authorized under state law will impact voter turnout. Do you think this will create a disadvantage for voters this fall? It's a problem. I mean, when people make it more pe make it more difficult for people to vote, that's a step in the wrong direction. They were used significantly and safely. There was no fraud as related to the use of those drop boxes. That's a problem. I, I do anticipate that's going to be, uh, it'll depress the vote somewhat. We know early enough we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that people understand what's, what's happening and how they can overcome that problem. Will and mark your calendars for upcoming debates. On October 13th, we are planning a debate between the Democratic Senate nominee and Senator Ron Johnson. Then a week later, on the 20th, we're planning another debate for the Republican candidate who will face off against Governor Tony Evers.